All right. Uh, uh, really proud of the the energy that these guys generated today, and and they generated because of uh, early on they made shots. But I thought our defense was was really on on point, uh, really making it. Uh, difficult for Montana State, and, and then they eventually found a little, nice little groove. And of course, uh, and a lot of that was attributed to the Hall kid. He started really knocking some shots in that were like in Al Dillard's range, and I mean, guys were in him. And uh, uh, but I thought in the second half we did a better job of, of really adjusting and, and making them continue to work. Uh, I was proud of the bench coming in and and playing well for us. I thought Cheney. Gave us some quality minutes, uh, even especially even starting in the second half. They just played with a lot of pop, and I thought our guys kind of responded off of that. Uh, but again, good team win, balanced scoring uh, by the guys that started off, and uh, so that kind of effort. That's what you want to see. Uh, Twenty assists in the first half. That's that's something that really stood out when I went in uh, the locker room. Uh, uh, the only negative I, I see is the offensive rebounds. But obviously they shot the ball, and uh, some of those long rebounds, some of those were, you know, who wants it rebounds, and I thought they did. We got to clean that up from that standpoint. But, but again, you can't. What can you say? Uh, you know, guys play efficient minutes. Uh, and that's what I've been really trying to get them. You, you think a guy like Mason? He started off. He was really uh, on fire. I mean, he was making, knocking shots down, making nice assists. Uh, and even the second half, I thought he did a good job of distributing to other guys. Played 21 minutes, 18 points. So, uh, again, this team continues to, uh, to to shape, to come into shape and form. Uh, so we got a little bit better today. <clears throat> Daniel is shooting like 76% from the field. I think he's 33 or 43. I'll double check that. But I know he's obviously getting dunks and, and in close shots. But what, what do you think about his – his shooting percentage tonight. I think the last two games he's like 20 or 23. Well, he's growing. I think he's growing as a player. I think he's getting the ball in the right spots. I think our guy's doing a good job. Uh, you know, Jalen Harris, uh, I'm sure uh, I told him before the year, if you want to be one of the top assist leaders in the country, man, you got a big guy with some great hands. And so I think they're starting to, to connect. I think they're connecting with all – I think Daniel's connected with all our guys, and they know that uh, what he brings to the table. Uh, they were in a zone, and we finally figured out you can go over top of the zone with a guy like Daniel. Uh, but I think Daniel's getting better, and I think our guys are identifying and getting him in the right spots. And he's making plays. I mean, he caught it at the elbow and, and had a sweep through and got to the basket for an end one. So uh, he didn't make the end one, but uh, but he did get fouled. So he, uh, I think you can see his development is, is continuing. He's playing with a lot of confidence right now. Was it a matter of just wearing Hall down, or, or did you all make some defensive adjustments on him? I thought our guys were much better on the catch with him. You give him a little cushion, I mean, he gets it off. That's, that's going to be a shot. But I think fatigue played a factor, too. He played, I think he, played, he possibly played all 20 minutes in the first half. And at that pace, it's hard, too, because now you've got to come down and, and guard defensively. You gotta, we made him work even offensively in, in, in the first half. The the job that Jalen did tonight with the the eleven assists and only one turnover and then getting the double double with his offense finally getting going. I, I thought that was good. I thought defensively he was good. Uh, I thought he was he was a leader in charge out there, and that's what a, a good leader does. So we, I just want to see more of that. I, I think it's in him. He got he got a lot of guys he can distribute it to, and so if uh, understand that role and, and doing it night in and night out. I think it's going to be a big, big key. I mean, he got a lot of deflection. He got in the, out there, out in the open floor. Had a couple of dunks. Had an alley oop. So uh, they had fun tonight. The guys had fun tonight. Just your overall thoughts on just the unselfishness of the guys tonight. Jalen had 11 assists, but uh, Desi and Isaiah also had had five assists too. Just the unselfishness. Well, I, I tell you what, that's something that you uh, hopefully is something that will continue to uh catch with this basketball team you know just trust that's called the trust factor where you know i may pass up a, a very good shot for a great shot uh mason one time he went up and froze the defense and i mean he was on fire in the first half and gave daniel a wide open dunk uh so it's kind of like it's that brother-in-law situation you know daniel is drawing so much attention inside it's allowing these guys outside uh, to score and then of course when we're in transition I think guys are now starting to make the right decision. You know, there are sometimes we'll botch up a fast break, but for the most part, I thought we got the got the ball to the right people at the right time. 
think he had five guys in double figures. I think he had nine guys score five or more. Just the the, the balance. How, how how good was that? It was good to see that. It was good to see that, and, and how it happened. You know, the bench guys that came in and they, I thought they played really really well. They, you know, I always talk about bench either coming in and maintaining if we're playing well, or lift us up. I thought that bench came in each time they came up. It kind of everything kind of rose up, the intensity rose up defensively, and, and obviously the guys that start out, they're the ones I think that kind of set the, set the tone, but the bench came in and did his part. Uh, again, we saw our bench kind of get a little bit better tonight. Do you know anything about uh, Texas Arlington? What, what, a good what basketball team. We played them, I think, maybe two years, three years ago. Uh, I think it was two years ago. Two years ago, and they were a tough out. Uh, they had a team that was coming, I think, back from the NCAA tournament. Uh, but they've got a nice, good culture down there. And uh, they played Indiana the other night. And Indiana was up like 15, 16, something like that. And they came back. They may have tied or took the lead. But I think it ended up being like an eight, nine, something like that point ball game. So they're, they're a tough team. Some guys, got multiple guys that can shoot. And so we're going to have to, we're going to have to defend. I know that. So uh, again, uh, it's, it's going to be a, uh, I think it's going to be a heck of a ball game. I think they got a good team. All right, cause that'll be your third game in six days. How, just how do you feel about that, especially with maybe the bench doing, doing more things? Uh, well, one, one of the things I talked about versus the last game was limiting, not necessarily limiting it, but hopefully cutting down on some of the minutes that these guys played, you know, and, uh, and we did. I think the most anybody played was 27 by Isaiah, but if you look at Adriel, Daniel, uh, those guys, you know, they probably played about half of the game. And so now you're getting key guys getting some minutes off the bench. And I think that's going to benefit us, like a guy like Keyshawn, uh, Desi, uh, and they're playing positive minutes. And, and the day we got even uh, Jordan Phillips got in there, and, and you can see the anxiousness in him. And, you know, it's, remember, he's only had one practice. So there's some rustiness there and timing and all that stuff. But, uh, but I got to applaud him. He came out and he wasn't. I wouldn't say afraid, but he wasn't bashful. I know that. So, uh, but but it's it's good to see these guys get some minutes and they can learn and and learn on the job. They can learn out there on the floor. You got scored them twenty nine to nine. You know, points off turnovers. You really got your break going and some transition baskets. Huh? Yeah. I thought we did a good job of that. I really thought we did a good job of that. Of of really, you know, putting pressure and and being in position where we deflect passes. And once we got it. I thought we did a good job of catching it and, and getting it up, up the court, and guys made the right decisions. So that's that's. Uh, it was exciting for our fans, and I'm sure it was exciting for our guys. I guess I assume you're having the team over to your house. Uh, how good is that? You know, you have a gathering like that coming off a nice win. I'm sure they they'll be uh, feeling good about themselves. They're feeling good about themselves right now, and uh, we've four games into the season, and so it's a it's a time of reflection and just being thankful for you know. Uh, we get a chance to do this, uh, uh, so uh, so it's like family. Family get a chance, you know. They don't get a chance to go home, you know. They had all the trimmings and all that. So uh, my wife is uh, she's in charge of that. And when they come over there, I can't talk about basketball. So that's that's how that goes, Bob. What, what, what do you talk about? Huh? What do you talk about? Yeah. I don't talk about basketball. Maybe I don't know. 